All right, uh, didn't take very long. Uh, I got to looking at stuff and the wire that goes, one wire goes from the switch to the relay. Uh, I started thinking, well, how the hell is the relay getting power to switch? Uh, so I took the ground wire off ground and moved it over to power. And now I have voltage here. Yeah, I know my battery's a little depleted. I have to charge it back up. Now, let's go and play with the dimmer switch again. So operator error is definitely there. Oh, I need more space. All right, my voltage went to zero. Let's check it on the other side. I have my ground wire on the wrong side. All right, so now I have voltage there. Let me go flip the dimmer one more time and then we'll make sure the ON OFF switch works. And if it does, we'll try the other headlight and make sure it switches too. I'm just looking to make sure that the, I've got the right ground wire hooked up here. I know it's hooked up correctly to the socket. I just don't remember which side of the socket is ground. Is it the middle one? All right, so that side to there all the way across, it's a negative voltage, so the ground must be there. That's positive. One more time. zero voltage there and there we go 12 volts so let's go make sure the on OFF switch works and it does now just for giggles we're going to go check the other side. Oh, dropped the meter. Didn't hit, didn't hit. All right, let's guess again that that's ground. And that's not. Let me go turn it back on. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> let's make it so you can see. I mean that's ground there we go got voltage there we'll go do the dimmer trick no voltage there voltage there so now that I fixed that one wire the headlights are wired and those wires connecting all the headlight stuff are the length they're going to stay 
So, you know, I can call that done. Where's the switch? There it is. Okay. So, except for tidying up the wires, and I'm gonna do all that once I get done with everything. So, let's disconnect the battery again. I don't leave with this hooked up, period, ever. Uh, I think that's a good plan on a, you know, 1940 car with a bunch of home done wiring. That's a real good plan. So anyway, there we have it. Headlights are done. Uh, parking lights are done except for shortening up a few wires. Uh, I think now it's time for me to make that little switch panel, uh, which I may do this weekend, I may not. Uh, and then run the turn signals are next and the hazards and the brake light uh, and that's it um, everything else is well I got to hook up the horn the horns wired out here I just have to hook it up inside the car the uh, alternator is wired the fan is wired um, the fan is wired direct through the uh i can't find it in the camera there it is the uh, uh, uh temperature sensor switch i'm not going to put that it's got its own fuse and circuit breaker uh, so that's the way that's going to stay um so uh turn signals horn uh what else did I say? Oh yeah, the emergency flasher. Because uh, I think, and the brake light, I think I can make all that work. I think this has a flasher switch on it. No, it does not. The column does not have a flasher switch. So I might have to put a third switch in here for the time being. No flasher switch on the column. That's odd. I thought for sure this had one. I know the other one that I took out of here had one, so, oh well, it is what it is. So I gotta put the horn button in and do the horn. Uh, the brake light wires are in here. The turn signal wires are in here. Uh, just gotta wire up the turn signal flasher and, uh, and the rest of the lights and the horn. And that's it. Then, uh, just to bring you up to date, the steering box uh, has not changed since the last time I was here. Uh, I gotta, I'm gotta, i going to get some grease, take this back off again, pack this with grease, uh, and then put it back together. And this is ready to put back on. Then I can lower this thing down, put oil in it, prime the oil pump, get up, get some oil up in the filter. Uh, i got to get some gas line and fuel line and run up to the regulator and over to here. And uh, there's a uh, vacuum line to the tranny I have to run. I don't need that to start the car. Uh, I need fuel, I need PVC hooked up, I need vacuum line from the carburetor to the distributor, uh, and I need to prime the oil system and have some tranny fluid standing by. Because I know it's low, I just don't know how low, and I know you can't run these for a long time without uh, the fluid at least being close so I've got all that it's all over there but anyway all right thanks for watching I'm going to call this one uh, a check mark and uh, I'll talk to you all later thanks bye